Welcome again. Right now we're at John chapter 21, verses 1 through 14. A post-resurrection miracle at the Sea of Galilee. Verse 1. After these things, Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself this way. Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, and the sons of Zebedee, that's James and John, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I'm going fishing. They told him, we are also coming with you. They immediately went out and entered into the boat. That night they caught nothing. But when day had already come, Jesus stood on the beach. Yet the disciples didn't know that it was Jesus. Jesus therefore said to them, children, have you anything to eat? They answered him, no. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. They cast it, therefore, and now they weren't able to draw it in for the multitude of fish. That disciple, therefore, whom Jesus loved, as John, said to Peter, It's the Lord! How come, again, how come they didn't recognize him right off the bat? I mean, wow. Between this instance and, say, Mary... Magdalene at the tomb that didn't recognize him and the disciples on the road to Emmaus didn't recognize him even though they talked with him seemingly for a considerable amount of time. It's got to make you wonder, why is it that they did not recognize Jesus? Here, it took him a little little while, you know, maybe a few minutes or so, but still, why didn't they recognize him right away? So when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he wrapped his coat around himself, for he was naked, and threw himself into the sea. But the other disciples came in the little boat, for they were not far from the land, but about 200 cubits away. 200 cubits is about 1,000 yards, or about 91 meters, dragging the net full of fish. So when they got out on the land, they saw a coal of fires there, with fish and bread laid on it. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish which you have just caught. Simon Peter went up and drew the net to the land full of 153 great fish. Even though there were so many, the net wasn't torn. Jesus said to them, come and eat breakfast. Like, wow, what a breakfast. Breakfast with the resurrected Messiah. None of the disciples dared inquire of him, Who are you, knowing that it was the Lord? Then Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and the fish likewise. This is now the third time that Jesus was revealed to his disciples after he had risen from the dead. Again, what an awesome portion of Scripture. Very, very amazing. Very marvelous. I I mean, it's just exciting just to read this over again. So as you go your way, May God bless you again with a wonderful, wonderful understanding of his word and his wonderful presence.